there and today in this electronics video I'm going to show you how to make a fading LED by using the ME555 timer chip. So without any further delay let's begin the project. So here are the items needed. First, a 100 ohm resistor, a 1 kilo ohm resistor or 1000 ohms. You could also use a potentiometer, a generic NPN BJT transistor. I'm using the 2N3904. If you use other types like the 2N2222A, the collector and the emitter may be switched. A 1000 microfarad or 1 millifarad capacitor, a 555 timer chip, an LED, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Also, the value of R2 and C1 may be changed a little as they control the fading rate. Also, I'll have eBay links for all of those of you who want to remake this project. So, now let us begin the build. So for those of you interested, you may pause the video and analyze this schematic. So first, grab the 555 timer chip and put it in the breadboard like this. Then, connect pin 8, which is this pin, to positive. Then pin 1, which is this pin, to ground or negative. I have a bit of more detailed video of the NE555 timer in my other video about the 555 timer oscillator and as usual I'll have a link down below. So now pin 2 is going to need to be connected to the positive side of the 1 millifarad capacitor. So we insert the capacitor into two empty rows in the breadboard. Then connect pin 2 to the positive side of the capacitor. So now, looking back on the schematic, we are going to need to connect pin 3 to our 1 kilo ohm resistor. And then to the positive side of the capacitor. And now we connect pin 4 to positive. Now pin 5 doesn't connect to anything. So pin 6 is going to need to be connected to two points, one to the base or middle pin of the transistor and the other to the positive side of the capacitor. So we insert the transistor into three unused rows on the breadboard. Then we connect two jumper wires from pin 6 and then connect one to the positive side of the capacitor and the other to the base of the transistor. So now the connections from the IC to the other components are ready. So now let's connect the other connections that we need. And let's start with the capacitor, which we are going to need to attach a jumper wire from the negative side of the capacitor to ground. After that, the transistor, which we are going to need to connect the collector of the transistor, which you can find which is switched by googling the transistor number, to positive, and then the emitter to a 100 ohm resistor and then to the positive side of the LED that we are going to need to put into two empty rows on the breadboard and then after we have made the connections to the LED we connect the negative side of the LED to ground or negative. So now we are basically ready and let us test the circuit by connecting two jumper wires from where there are the negative and positive connections connected. Then, by just hooking the wires to a battery, we can see that our circuit works. And if we add a potentiometer instead of the 1K resistor, or change the capacitor value, we can observe that the fading speed increases or decreases. So now, after you have watched this video till the end, you should be a little bit smarter. And if you have any problems with making this circuit, or just want to share something with me, tell me down below. And don't forget to go to the description box for additional information about this build. So if you like this video, make sure to press the thumbs up button, share it with your friends and subscribe if you're new. And as always, stay safe and have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.